sure adrenaline that happens. And then if the ball comes in and say, there's just no one near me except for the defender and I get enough space, then I'm ready to shoot. There's a lot going on in your head when the ball comes in. There's just so many factors and you have to think in a split second. I was born on June 27, 1994 in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. I started playing water polo when I was 11 and I honestly wasn't the best water polo player. I was a little chubby and like all that stuff. So <laughs> I grew into it just from being committed to the sport for sure. Went to every practice I could. The first time I came here, I think it was in grade 10, I came to a water polo camp at UCLA and I just loved the school and I really liked Brandon and Molly. So I was like, oh, I just really want to go here. And then I ended up going to a few different other camps and I just like couldn't get UCLA out of my, my head. So I kept that kind of, I kept in contact with Brandon and Molly a little bit, not a, not a whole lot. And then I came back in my 11th grade year and I was like, yeah, this is for sure where I want to go. When I got here, I was like, wow, this pool is amazing. And, just getting to know Brandon and Molly and some of the girls that were helping, like KK and a few of the other girls were helping out with the camp. So it was really cool to get to know them a little and how, what they thought of the school. And it just helped me solidify that I really wanted to come here. So I had, took my, had my first two years here and um, I had to decide for national team, for the senior national team, whether I wanted, because it was a two year commitment technically. So I was technically not supposed to come back until when, after the Olympics. Um, for, so I did make the decision to move to Montreal and train at the National Training Center there. Um, and it was a really great experience. I really matured as a person and everything like that. And I like wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. It just didn't quite work out for me at the time. There was other girls that were just, I guess I wasn't part of the plan at the, at the time. So I just made the decision. I was like, I need to finish school. I need to compete at a high level. And maybe for the next cycle, I can try and make that team. But it just wasn't my time, I guess. So that's why I came back after one year instead of two years. It really gave me a lot of growing as an athlete and everything like that. And so coming back here, I, I knew I had improved a lot. So I, I was just hoping it would just be awesome coming back here and playing. I was just really excited to come back. I plan on taking, like, completing my teaching credential through for British Columbia, and then taking a kind of a diploma through one of the local universities to, for, you know, it's a, in disabilities and applied behaviors. And I'd like to become a teacher and maybe work with students with disabilities and stuff like that. So that's what I plan on.